Hello and welcome along to Found in the Ground. You join me today on a beautiful, beautiful field in Norfolk in what can only be described as the most Roman area I've ever, ever dug in. This is my new permission over in, shan't say where, it's a secret obviously, uh, in Norfolk, but I have been waiting for months and weeks to get out here. Last week I ended up going on a bit of meadow, which wasn't ideal. The ground was hard, there wasn't much there, it hadn't been ploughed in years, but here, everything's good apart from the fact that it's a million degrees it's still quite hard so the conditions perhaps aren't great but the land oh it should be awesome i'll keep bigging it up it's gonna be terrible now but no i'm here i'm ready to get started i've also just gained another farm not too far away from here which is absolutely incredible can't believe it like buses and i think that's going to be roman as well so i may pop over there later just to give it a little look see but anyway enough talking for me let's get out there and let's get on the roman Right, first find of the day, and um, it's not a Roman. I'm not going to bang on about it, but it is a baton. So my first baton on the new permission, and it's a little nipple button, complete with shank. Yeehaw! Uh, that may be the start of things to come in a button day. Let's hope it gets better. Absolute screamer. Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Ground is tough, much like the other day at Size Dig, but not impossible. Oh, I thought it was out then. That clump? Nope. Just over here slightly. Oh, it's um, it's going to be about thirty-one degrees today, maybe more. Hot already, very hot. God, that sounds out, doesn't it? So clear. For a bit of aluminium being that sharp and clear. Oh, or not out. <laughs> Why would it be out? Oh. Yeah, once you get through that crust, although it's dry, it's not too bad. Yeah, it was a lot deeper than I anticipated. But there was a reason, it was a bright signal. It's a round in the ground situation. Yes, not a Roman. A Georgie third, actually looks like it's in pretty good nick. Oh, we'll give it a clean up then. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a really nice Georgie third half penny. <laughs> been fly biting me now. Yeah, well that dries out. You can really see his business is going on there, 1806. Very nice, and Britannia doing her thing. Right, we need to go back in time a little bit more than you, Georgie, but that is really nice, nice little start. Just got something shiny. Ah, uh, for fork's sake. I just can't resist that. Look at this, fairly modern stainless steel fork. Flipping thing, how's that got there? Farmer's dropped his lunch. Ugh. Oh my God, can you believe? Look at this. Can you imagine what I was thinking getting this out of the ground? I thought I had some kind of flipping Viking, Celtic flipping brooch. I don't know, something, something flipping awesome. But no, it's a button. It's a bloody button. A legal button. Oh, wow. Look at the pattern on that. Honestly, I thought I might have had a stator, <laughs> genuinely. Eh, you sod. Still, nice button. Right, moving on. Well, this is one of the weirdest things I think I've ever found. Look at this. Very strange. I thought it was a hammered coin originally. Um, I don't know if it's got like a sitting dog in the middle of it. There's holes around the outside, sort of a frilly design. Not a lot going on on the back. Almost like a really elaborate button or fitting of some kind. Um, yeah, really tantalisingly weird. And I'm not entirely sure it isn't silver, so I'll have to give that a test. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. 
plenty of signals here at this new permission. And oh, hang on. Oh, you absolute. Oh, you beast. I thought that was a little farthing. Every day of the week, that's a farthing. Until it's a button. Oh, God, you follow me everywhere, don't you? Well, I wasn't expecting something like this. This is, this is well cool. It's a flipping great lead weight. And can, I mean, you can make out there's a castle. And I think, is that the lion? Under, it could be the lion underneath. I mean, that would be Norwich. So that's very local to me, which would make sense. And there's like a star shape there. Clearly some other symbol. Hey, that's really cool. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, when that's cleaned up, I'm sure that'll give me a bit more. That's awesome. That's probably three, two, three ounces, four ounces. I don't know. Hey, really nice. I've just put an hour and a half in-ish into that field. Uh, no Roman, but my God, stuff coming up left, right and centre. I barely filmed, to be honest. Didn't do any live digs. Well, maybe one, wasn't it? Georgie, maybe. Yeah, and apologies for that. It's just that I'm finding out where stuff is and I want to get around this farm and work out where the good stuff is. And that means I can't spend forever just digging up buttons, which is what I was doing. And I had some great buttons, I really did. But I don't know if you remember, a few videos back, I um, had a walk around a field and it was raining and there was Roman pottery on the surface. Well, I've come to that field. And it had broad beans in it, so I've got quite thick. Let's have a look, show you. Um, yeah, quite thick stems to potentially contest with and the ground, as you can see, yikes, it's hard. Um, so it might just be a, a field walk for pottery to be fair, but um, yeah, at least I definitely found Roman pottery on here. So this is my best chance of getting a Roman today. Let's give this one a go. First target on the new field is a surface find. <laughs> Bit of an old track there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I do love old toys. And that is a right old one. Ain't a lot left of you, boy. But that's right cool anyway. And is this a bit of Roman pottery in the hole? Hmm, bit of something. Well, today is turning into the most epic button day. Which is not really what I was expecting or wanting, if I'm honest. <laughs> Uh, but that's a, another livery button, isn't it? Or a nice livery button. Uh, can't quite make it out, really. A couple of critters walking along. Or, oh, I don't know. Ah, oh, anywho, I'm in the heart of the Roman field. Let's go find a blooming Roman. Come on. And a relic has come along and joined the party. Looks to be half of a spectacle buckle. Yeah, that's nice. Well, if this farm ever has been detected, they missed a heck of a lot, that's for sure. That's nice. Well, I think I've got a bit more of the track there. <laughs> I think I've got one of its back wheels. That's a start. Let's see if we can find the rest of him. Right, another field. We've got a round in the ground, but it's looking a bit too round. Get off there, you. Yes. Looking like a Georgian half penny. Oh, we've got a bit of a, a bit of a profile there, Georgie second. Yeah, I think a Georgie second. Mm, yeah, yeah, I guess commit to it. <laughs> right, yeah, um, another coin, but it's the wrong era still. Bit of an oddity here, because it's, I thought it was just a bit of aluminium, but there is detailing around the edges of this, so I assume it's maybe a bangle but I can't find any hall marking or anything on it. It's particularly flimsy. Yeah, I really don't know. I don't think it's that old. Maybe a bit of costume jewelry, maybe. Or something else. It's just a bit odd. Maybe a bit big for a bangle. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh dear, coins are getting newer, not older. I say, um, the last half pennies that were circulated. Yeah. Hmm. The Romans are eluding me. So what's going on? On paper, this is this is so Roman, and yet reality is I'm not finding anything. Maybe it's the conditions. 
Yeah, possibly. Anyway, I'm going to have some lunch and uh, I'll see you on part two next week. Bye for now.